Donc, tu n'aurais peut-être assez un ici. Boum! We're back! Yeah, yeah. On the side of the chilling spot. Great vibe. Look at this. This is our now. We're gonna show you guys a bit around. Great place to meet state. Eh? I find it's a great place for mid station. Mid station. What is a mid station? Is a... For me, mid stating is a lot. Uh, you no know, med means middle, so that must be being in the middle of your dots or something like that, or in the middle, or finding a balance with nature. I don't know. To me, it's communicating with uh, yourself and nature, and uh, holding a mid station is a. Uh, There's always nature that is very, very inspiring. By chance, we have nature to bring uh, our vibes up and keep them up. And uh, yeah. so, food, food is a big step. It's a big step forward. Uh, changing our eating habits, but again, it's all about uh, our habits also. So, uh, it's one by one. I think you start by one thing: changing your eating habits, changing. We see it, and you start exercising also. Very important to exercise also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you must exercise. You must. Uh, you must. You have to move. It's good to. Uh, it's good to eat well and to. Uh, but sometimes also the strongest person or the the vegan and the one who. Uh, yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of a lot of people uh, out there that are very very strong athletes that are vegan and stuff like that. You don't lack uh, protein or anything. Even that protein, you don't need a lot of protein. Because protein is a myth to it. No, but yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about protein. Protein, basically, the molecule of protein is a uh, chain of uh, amino acids. And these amino acids, basically, that's what the body uses to uh, build muscle and uh, to repair muscle. <clears throat> so that's why they say gotta eat a lot of protein and they sell you all these protein shakes and stuff like that to boost up your protein con consumption because it's the illusion that you need protein to build muscle but you need the amino acids and these amino acids you can find them in watermelon bananas oranges kiwis uh, grapes uh, goji berries stuff like that. you know every fruit every vegetable every and uh, nut everything that is alive as all the amino acids you need to be able to build muscle so you don't need no shit protein shake you don't need none of these crap you don't need to be consuming like 4,000 calories a day with 600 uh, 6,000 and uh, uh, no like six meals a day and stuff like that the stuff overfeed your body I know and you're supposed to be healthy you're supposed to strive for health not try to make it worse you know and by consuming a lot of protein it's it gets really toxic for the human body and gets your blood uh, uh, really acidic if you consume too much protein it's not so good for your uh, for your organs and stuff like that it's really hard to digest uh, compared to simple sugars like uh, fruits and stuff like that that is straight energy to the human cells what about starch Starch, I Potatoes, see, starch, uh, I, see it, I see it as fat. It does the same thing as fat is going to do because when you're going to consume like really fatty, bad, bad fatty foods, uh, all the fat is going to go on the human cell basically. So that's why afterwards when you consume, example, let's say a cake or stuff like that, a dessert after your greasy supper, the sugar from what you're eating is trying to go to the human cells <coughs> but it's coated with the bad fat you just ate so that's why the insulin is all fucked up that's why people get diabetes that's why there's a spike in the blood sugar levels and that's why afterwards boom, you go back down so starch they they do pretty much the same thing they, they put they don't go directly to human cells they stay in the blood you know what I mean that's what it's the sugar from starch. That's it. It's the sugar from starch. It's 
Because uh, I would seen, have to do more research. I seen stuff. a guy uh, on YouTube, a doctor, he was talking about putting a bunch of uh, Hawaiian people on a starch diet and they were doing phenomenal like rice, potato, corn and stuff like really a uh, starch based diet and they were doing it uh, like most of them were losing weight. I was like, yeah, and I, you know, potato, potato is something that always made me feel good. I always feel good when I eat potatoes. But that, that, that's what it is. There's so much meat, so much yeah. information, all kinds of, yeah. all kinds of fucking bullshit. Just eat what makes you feel good. Not potato chip. No, 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 for sure. Talking like, about mashed potato or... No, that's it, but don't eat stuff that necessarily make you feel good emotionally, but they make you feel good physically. Yeah. Go for the physical benefits rather than the emotional benefits. I think that's what you have to do. Yeah, I think we're very much into a... Because we're really emotion, emotional beings. Right. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we're very, very emotional beings, so it's really easy for humans to get caught up with all their emotions and to let the their emotions drive them through whatever. Yeah, it's to take control of our thoughts, our emotions. Focus on, on jer our journey on being healthy and staying healthy. Just that is a challenge because everything around us is so uh, so negative. Like I get depressed when I think about going to the heat outside of my own. Unless I'm in a place like a place yeah. where you work or something, then I feel good. There's some places that are very very people are very conscious and they bring a, they make you feel a, like you're not alone. <laughs> But when you go to McDonald's and you're gonna feel and you're conscious like we are, you're gonna feel very lonely in there. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, so this is the, the, I think the shift that has to be brought about into someone is to let the, the junk food aside. And, uh, but it's gradually, gradually yeah, you're yeah. gonna make a shift. And don't go too harsh on yourself. After all, it's a, it's a life commitment, so you have yeah. to. Just stay focused and uh, just that is very hard because they just look here in Quebec, uh, like majority of the stuff you find is not very healthy. It's baby them. It's like that everywhere. No? And every I think everywhere you go you're gonna find uh, junk food because that's what they want people to eat. Uh, and every more and more countries too, like you, you look in Hawaii or places like that where they were very much living uh, according to nature vibes there's a lot of people very uh, a lot of yeah, fat yeah. people becoming in every society these people are becoming fat unhealthy and uh, even kids even children uh, yeah yeah that's bad oh yeah when you, but you know the me i always seen the the health responsibility of my children as mine uh, it's your responsibility as parent the health of your children and Sam I always uh, been you know I I've never even though when I was eating meat I was always uh, selecting the best meat out there so trying to you know never I always cared about what kind of food I was eating but I was not eating the right stuff but it wasn't a big thing for us to make a transition because our mindset was already uh, geared towards being healthy is just we weren't eating the right food. We were consuming flesh and blood and uh, all kinds of nonsense. So once you realize that fruit and veggies and spinach and stuff is a lot better for you than anything anything Babylon can bring to you, suddenly see life a very different thing. Fruit is smooth. Yeah, fruit is smooth. That's what it is. That's why we make smoothie with it. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth. The well, fruit is smooth. But it's smooth also. Yeah, That's why smooth. we make smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's smooth. It's smooth and smooth. And smooth. Yeah. It's smooth on the moon. Oh, there was a big, big piece. Of, oh no, it's still there. The tree in the river. I thought by the water going higher. You see the. I don't know if you guys see it. There's a big tree there. Right in the river. Like a big dead tree. Like Soon we're gonna bring a canoe here and uh, we'll do an expedition on the island that would be really great. I wanna go there this summer for some. I would like to sleep on that island yeah, at night. That would be nice. Bring a tent? Why not? 
bring a tent pop it up there come and see the nice night with all the stars here oh yeah we bring the telescope yeah. or something we'll be back <laughs> 